If you're taking organic chemistry for the first time next semester, watch this. One of the first things you learn in OCHEM is what's called bond line notation. You're probably used to reading Lewis structures, which look like this, but bond line notation is an easier way to read and write molecules. We draw our bonds in a zigzag formation, and each corner and end of the structure counts as a carbon. We also assume hydrogens are already there depending on how many bonds carbon has. Neutral carbon will have four bonds, and if we look at this carbon, we can assume two hydrogens are already there since it has two bonds to other carbons. The only time you have to include your hydrogens is if it's bonded to a heteroatom like oxygen. If your molecule has a double bond, there will be two lines in between the carbons, but if your molecule has a triple bond, there will be three lines in between them. Make sure whenever you draw triple bonds, you draw them straight since they have a linear geometry. And don't forget that these ends count as carbons, so we have four carbons in total. If you want more tips to help you prepare for OCHEM over the summer, follow for more.